coach, Heather Olmstead. All she's done is go 55 and 7 in her two year coaching career wow. at the helm of BYU women's volleyball. She's bringing her swag and karma to the BYU Sports Nation set. Heather, welcome back. What's up, Heather? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Congrats. Thank on getting you. Getting into the NCAA tournament. Thank you. What was your immediate reaction to seeing BYU as the overall 13 seed against Princeton uh, last night during the selection show? Yeah, we were thrilled uh, to be in the tournament to be able to represent the West Coast Conference and being that 13 seed. Um, I think it fits us well, and so we were really excited. Before we break down the matchup with Princeton and the postseason and everything, have you taken a moment to kind of say, hey, that regular season was pretty good, 27-3 and WCC champs? Yeah, actually, we sat down after practice on Saturday as a team and talked about some of our favorite moments of the season just to, just to enjoy it because that last road trip was, was kind of long, and we had so many great moments in those last three matches. Um, and so we just talked about some of our favorite moments, and it was a really neat experience for our team to be able to just reflect on that. What Good, is, because a lot of times in athletics, you just push forward, 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 forward. It's nice to just take time and enjoy, especially on Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Hey, we, we did something great, so I'm glad you guys did that. Yeah. That's good. What is it about this team, down two sets to none, on the road, it happened against Ohio State, it happened recently against LMU, where you're able to battle back, not in your home gym, and win? Yeah, I think this, this team just never gives up. They battle. I, that's one thing I always know is going to happen. They're going to come out and compete with energy. And you may, we may not be playing our best or well, but they're never going to give up. And so if a team slips up, we're going to be there. And so that, that was the case you know, against LMU. And I'm super happy for them to just grind it out. And um, it was just a neat, awesome experience. So we look at the 13 seed, and we immediately get skeptical because, <laughs> because we looked at women's soccer and we said, hey, wait a minute. Uh, what happened there? You're a seven RPI, 27 and three WCC champs, 13 seed about fair for your team. Yeah, we like where we're at. We think uh, we, we've done a great job this season. The girls have, uh, you know, done a fantastic job uh, in conference, out of conference wins. And um, we feel like we're in a good spot. I'm thrilled to be hosting, you know, Princeton Friday, take it one match at a time. Uh, excited that Cougar Nation gets to see us play again at home, and I think that's a great thing for our team. How much have you learned about the Princeton Tigers since you found out you were matched up with them last night? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we spent some time on the internet last night. Uh, you know, I, I know they're coached um, very well. Uh, Sabrina King is their head coach. Uh, she does a fantastic job. A little familiar with them. We played in 12. We flew out and played them in, on the East Coast in 2012. They've got the player of the year. They've got the freshman of the year on their team. They won their, their Ivy League conference. Um, they only have four losses, only one in conference. So they're, they're a battle-tested team. They'll be ready, I think, to play us Friday. Of course, the looming potential second-round matchup, and you mentioned uh, take it one game at a time, but you've already played the two teams you could match up in the second round with, and one of those is Utah. The other is UNLV. Your thoughts on the second round? Yeah, I think it's it's – we're familiar with both opponents, UNLV and Utah. I think it's it's awesome to have two teams from the state of Utah being able to play uh, in, in a first and second round opportunity. And so I think it's good for the sport, and it's going to be exciting, you know, all those – the two matches on Friday and then the match on Saturday. I'll say it for you. Second, The second round would be awesome with Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Utah in the NCAA tournament? Well, wow. th there's wow. there there is a lot there, but uh, you know, a coach will always we, focus on the you, opponent ahead. You have to take one game at a time. We do not. So I'm really looking forward to a potential BYU win and second round matchup. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to be able to host for a second consecutive year the NCAA tournament in Provo? Yeah, I think the credit goes to the team. Um, they've just battled all year, and you know, it's never our intentions or our goal. Hey, let's host. It's it's let's let's be the best we can be. Let's go out and and do what we know we're capable of, and then good things happen. So I think. I think it's a credit to them keeping their head down grinding away and and then good things happen from that winning the conference being able to host i mean it's just it just shows the credit how hard those girls have worked i thought this was a really good coaching job by you this year you lost a first team all-american you put in a new setter a new libero yet a new freshman and mckenna miller as your leading hitter what did it take for this team to get from uh square one to where they are now um a lot of hard work. We've got great senior leadership with Amy Boswell, Whitney Young Howard, McKenna, Santiago, Hannah Robison. They just, they really led this team. And then the freshmen, um, sprinkled the sophomores and juniors, really stepped up and really took it one match at a time. And they just have this, um, this great chemistry. They love each other. Um, they play for each other. It's evident every time we step on the court. They're just a great group to coach. I feel really lucky. So just super blessed to be around them every day. And they were well coached. Well, thank well. you. That, 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 I appreciate that it. Were. <laughs> we have a great staff. J Dave Height and Johnny Neely and Chelsea Nita have, have been fantastic. So our staff mixed with those players, I think, is a great combo. 
Last year, BYU was the team that was picked as the overwhelming favorite to win the conference. You did. This year, San Diego had the target on their back. So winning the conference outright back-to-back years, but this time not as the team picked to win it, does that have or carry any added significance for you? I think it's, um, you know, we knew we were a little bit of the underdogs, and so I think it does make it a little bit more incredible what this team was able to do, um, not being the favorites and, and kind of having that chip on our shoulder, being able to win the conference outright. Um, I think it just shows where this program's headed and where we've come from and just the future and, and that we're, we're contenders. We want to win conference titles. We want we want to win a national championship. And I think it speaks a lot to the kids that come to our program, recruits that want to come. And uh, we're serious about volleyball at BYU. All right, Heather. Let's, Amen to that. Uh, yeah. let's, uh, let's, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Yes, let's please. do our part for the NCAA tournament and uh, get BYU as the 13th seed past Princeton and then past – Whoever they face in the second round. Bring on the youth. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, 